Hey there, I am Blue Uriel, and this is an actual house that I'm building this time. Look, see, the screenshots, there's a bed in everything. Although, I, to be honest, I almost forgot a bathroom, but that is besides the point. Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to do, like, this really weird thing. I saw this house with a porch made out of a roof, like, right, right there. You, you see it right there. It's right there. I I mean I did this in other builds. I've seen this house multiple times in the past, but it, it's it's a cool house regardless. And I really liked the way it was made, so I decided, hey, I'm going to steal that and put it online. So that's exactly what I did, uh, along with making the roof pink and many other things that were probably um bad ideas that I turned into good ideas because that is how I roll. Yeah, it, I decided not to actually go with that original idea though and I just made a you know clear dance floor sunroof with a yeah I, I really actually did like that area when I made it. it it's an interesting concept I really hope I didn't put any walls under that sunroof I hate it when I do that I hate it when anybody does that I hate it when you kind of break off a piece of glass like like a window like a sunroof anything with a wall because the wall has thickness in the sense it has thickness anyway you put stuff inside of the wall yeah, but what, whatever. So, yeah, I added blue to the pink because I was just like, it's already colorful. It's already super colorful. And, yeah, it, it's already colorful, so why not just go for it? Which is why this is called Colorific. And, yeah. Yeah, just kind of realizing, huh, that looks too even. Let's, let's, let's bother people with OCD. That's that's a great idea. You know, you know it's really weird. For once, I actually didn't make a house with a foundation. It's crazy. I didn't actually put a foundation on this house ever. I did not raise it up. I did not I did not raise the house at all. It's it's just how it is. I I went with the shorter windows for the taller walls, even though it is a taller wall, the shorter windows don't really match it as well because I wanted the blue to still be visible after I put the windows in. Because if you put the, like, full window in, you can't actually see the blue. This is, this is, this is interesting. I tried to make two little porches at the side there because I thought it looked weird. And then I realized, no, that doesn't work. Yeah, see, like, I'm placing in the doors and then I realized the roof would, like, get in the way of the doors. And that's not exactly, like, a malleable thing in real life, so... You can't exactly open the door and the roof just kind of moves out of the way. So I just decided to go with a bunch of windows. And I actually discovered the one thing that probably saved this entire house. This weird looking house. Well, not discovered, just kind of like did. But I did the one thing that could have saved this entire house. Did save this entire house. Yeah, I, I was trying out different walls because I don't really like the way the paneling works. But you know, whatever. But so this is what I did. Not that. Not that. That's that's just a couple of porches. This is what I did. Right here. Small fences. Squares. Plants. I know, right? Plants. Oh my god. Plants. Plants. Blue, pink, green, white. Plants. Right there. Plants. So then I, I decided to do that almost everywhere. Because it just... It, it brings a kind of continuity just to the entire house if you if you if you have a house oh, this is this is dumb i i freaking like got rid of that and i got rid of that i was trying to put a fountain down and not even where like the fountain would have fit i, I couldn't put the fa fountain down it was so stupid I, I figured it out eventually because apparently sims 4 likes you do to do things in a certain order in a certain way but that that's just how that that's just how that goes so yeah see look i'm putting the squares everywhere which is really weird you usually wouldn't think of putting fences in the middle of a garden just around the garden but i put the fences in the middle that i'm just making a porch i actually decided not to go with the white wood on the outside which i, I mean i liked it i just why, why didn't i go with that i don't know huh yeah just made a little feature right there with a couple of glass desks from um, Get to Work. 
Oh, see, I thought that would actually work, but no, apparently you can't have fences even close to where you want it to be. So, yeah. Had to put the thing in elsewhere. See, I left a couple of, like, pieces of floor not, like, actually uncovered because I wanted to put that little grass there so there would be little flowers underneath. Just adding a little bit of detail where you can't actually see it. And then I thought the, f the house looked too flat on that side, so I added a couple of like, little just outside divots, which was probably a good idea because although this thing is pretty small on the inside, like, seriously, I have one bedroom because I made a giant kitchen, which is probably a bad idea. See, look, adding a little, a couple more little gardens on the roof. Yeah, see, this was, this would have been pointless in a real house because you can't even see it. It's like, not only is it facing somebody else's house, but you also, I'm like hissing at this moment. What, whatever. Yeah, I, I realized those windows weren't working, so I just put them in it anyway because I thought, like, added a little design to the roof, add a little, like, fanciness. Just gotta, yeah. Th those in the gates kept messing up. And, yeah, this is when I decided to change everything to fit one thing. Because, because continuity, yeah. Adding a little bit more there, just to pop it out a little bit so each thing was too wide. That doesn't really go anywhere, but... Just, just a little nice little outdoor area for a small house. A house for one person. Or uh, just two people. I, I I did move a lady in here with a baby. Her name is uh Jennifer Smith. Smell smelled. Yes. Jennifer Smith smelled. Um Jennifer Smith spelled um not not like that. Not like not like that name at all. I no, no, that's Smith, I believe, is spelled G C Y M G H. Yeah. It's pronounced Smith. But yeah. Had to stick a little mailbox in, so I thought the kind of road up to the house was a little empty, so you know, I, I usually put pools in houses, but this one this one I wanted to have a big front yard. Because this is a pretty like it, it's an average size lot, but it's a relatively small lot at the same time. So, you know, yeah, you have to you have to make some um decisions. Do you want a small backyard or you want a big front yard? You wanna yeah. No, that's not a decision. That's a that's a Yeah. And then I see, at this moment I remembered the the like hanging wall plants, which I thought would look really good in this house, which I think it did. I think I actually did like do well on this. Uh, Blue Uriel did very well on this on this build. Yes. Add a couple of chairs outside. A little bird feeder. Spends way too long putting a a ground lamp on a table. And then just 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 add a little light outside. Make it make it a little glowy. Make add some lights on the path so you don't like step in the garden or something. You know. Yeah. There's very few things to do outside in The Sims, especially if you don't have outdoor retreat, which I don't, because I am a lazy loser. And, um, yeah, so you don't really have a lot to do. You either got a pool, or you got a, or you got a, see, right there, I put in the marble tiles outside, and then I decided, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the kitchen that way, and I'm gonna make the kitchen connected to that. And I start on furnishing. <laughs> Thinking, the furnishing in this went really well. Like, super well. See, look, I add the... Oh, no, I actually didn't go with the white wood. I went with the gray wood. Because I really like the gray wood. I don't know what's with me in gray wood, but... Yeah. Gray. Gray, like my soul. Putting the counters in there. I made it a little squiggly, because I wanted it to be squiggly. But see, look, the uh, marble is going out onto the porch where the marble is at the door. So it's kind of like the flooring goes outside. It kind of like it's an extension of the kitchen. That that little porch is an extension of the kitchen. An extension of the kitchen through a side front door because I, and then I try to do that because I don't. Those cabinets are so weird, and I don't like it how every single one looks exactly the same on the inside because they're clear. It it would have been nice if they had like somehow managed to make it look slightly different, like they were like. A couple of skins for that cabinet, but that's fine. That's fine. 
I actually switched the places of the stove and the fridge later. Actually, you know what? There is actually that that trash can, the money trash can, actually has a purpose in this build because in in the last one in the um in the coffee shop, what what's the point of putting a money trash can in a coffee shop? What are you gonna do with that, right? So, this this actually the money trash can. Yeah, I I decided against that. Thankfully, I and then I yeah. There there was a lot of uh, move objecting having to go on right there. Nice little chunky counter. It's it's original. It's original, and it has a little pop of color every now and then. See, make the make the colors pop, make everything gray, and then make a couple of things other things. Oh yeah, I really like doing that. You take the counter, you put the thing on the counter, you move the counter out of the way, and the thing is still floating. So you stick the thing wherever you want. It's great. It's perfect. It's wonderful. Yeah, and then I just de I decided to put the blue tiles on the floor. Yeah, see, look, I do it again. Look, there you go. It's sticking out a little bit, so it's just like, hey, let's put stuff there. Got a couple of knickknacks. A nice, um, yeah. The, the this this was the reason why I put the ivy there, right? There, I put the uh, microwave next to the window, and you can see the back of the microwave. I don't like seeing the back of the microwave, so I, yeah, more square gardens. But I don't like seeing the back of the microwave. It's all like mechanical and stuff. That that's supposed to like go against the wall. You're not supposed to see that side of it. So that that's why I put the ivy there. It's it's really weird because you can't actually see the ivy from the inside, but you can see the ivy from the outside. Also, the curtains worked very well, considering the fact that the entire thing was like gray themed, and I wanted a pop of color, and then it went green and gray. It was like, wow, this is made for this. Maybe not. It it wasn't made for it, but you know. Another thing that I really like, that bookshelf. It's a great bookshelf. Can't really find anywhere to put it in that often. Oh, this is when everything started falling in place for me. Everything, li literally everything. R remove that. Perfect. It, like I, I didn't plan that at all. That was that was just that was just right. See, look, it's perfect. It's even like fused to the side of the wall, which is where I like stairs to be. Yeah, th this um, probably not the best thing. Uh this was this was um, unfortunate. What happened here was that um. If you have the walls all the way up, or if you have the walls up at all, the roof, you, you see the roof in the way of the freaking thing. So you can't actually play with the walls up upstairs. But then again, it's only a bedroom. It's only a little bedroom. And I made it I made it look as nice as possible. It's it's not like an ugly bedroom. So I mean, like seriously. What would you need that for? Like, to get dressed, right? <laughs> Who needs to get dressed? Um, yeah, so I stuck a bunch of pictures up there. Just make the place look a little, uh, spiffy. Got a couple of plants. Even though nobody's probably going to see this because no one's going to play their entire game with the walls down. Unless they do. I do that a lot. Why am I saying that that's impossible if I do that constantly? That's, that's, that's silly. Yeah. Just I stuck a bunch of stuff up here. Just a couch. It it's a nice little area, even though you can barely get to it. See, I thought the I thought the carpet wasn't even for some reason. So it kind of messed up. That that I, there are no alarms going off in the background. That was your imagination. It is a part of the system that is trying to um, control your mind. Unless you didn't hear that, then I'm not talking about anything. Even my words are trying to control your mind, and I'm part of the system. And that's that's where I stuck the bathroom. Yeah, everything kind of just everything kind of just worked out. It was great, except this. This didn't work out. It eventually worked out when I wanted it to work out. This okay. This is one of the things that bothers me the most of the Sims. You got the high wall. You got the high wall like uh, modern arch, and you got the low wall modern arch. But you don't have the middle modern, right? So what's the point? What is the point of not having a middle modern arch? What's wrong with the middle modern arch? Yeah, I, I tried to make it work. Yeah, if you if you lift up like a short arch, and you do you stick it there, it's it's fine. And I tried to make this work. I I tried. That that was kind of like glitching out, like when objects overlap in the same place, and it's and they're like fighting to be the top one. Like, seriously. 
why is there no middle modern arch? That is an issue. So, so I, I just decided to do that. So, shoving plants in the corner, putting a little window there so you can actually see the plants. I almost actually forgot to put wallpaper on that little, like, pop out for the plants in the window. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what can go where on there. But I forgot, almost forgot to put wallpaper on there. Yeah. I moved the couch later. I really like that little table. That's a great little table. Huh. Yeah. Just kind of putting a bunch of wallpaper on. Trying to make everything kind of as, like, dull as possible and only use objects to make the place look nice. Which I think actually looks really great because the entire thing's kind of gray. And then I have these greens and blues that make the place look not gray. And I think it's great. Haha. <laughs> yeah. I, I moved the window and the door to make it um, so I can actually stick the TV over there. And the chair. And the chair. Yeah. That's a really long chair. Um, to, stick the to stick the couch over there. So I actually like have a place to put the couch little and a place to put the grassy shag carpet perfectly green in front of the couch yeah i, I really like the anyway yeah had had to um furnish the little porch out front too with the little chairs i used those two places i think no i didn't i'm lying those chairs look the same to me no, I'm just checking out everything, making sure everything's fine. I think I'm about done. And? No, no, I'm not about done. I, I was not about done at all. I had to put lights in. Wait, did I put lights in? No, I put a bathroom. Great. Wonderful. I, it's it's a dark, it's a dark. Okay, that's, that's fine. I'll go back and, I need to go back and fix it. Wait, no, I already uploaded it. Great. Okay. Yep. Got a little bathroom right there. And a little sink. Putting Puts in some kid wallpaper. Because I really wish that wallpaper was a tile instead of just a wallpaper. Because, because look at it. It's so colorful and wonderful. But it's it's wallpaper. It's got the little like line at the bottom with a little grimy thing at the bottom. It's... Eh. Just adding a little color everywhere. Putting some cabinets in as um, side tables because they're really thin, so they make great side tables. It, it's wonderful. Add a little, like, this place really did seem like it was for artists anyway. Yeah. Well, this is ending, so I guess. Like the video if you liked it, I suppose. Making a little, like, thing there at the end and... Soon I will have to say goodbye. And a little final touches. Zoom out. Oh yeah, I did that. And this is the end. My only friend, the end. Goodbye. <laughs>